Hey everybody, today we're going to go over importing and exporting profiles in your slicer. I'm going to be using Kira for this, so let's get it going. My name's Jim, and this is the Edge of Tech. So after the last video about STL files and slicers and G-codes, I had some questions about how to import a profile that was found in a member group on Facebook. So I thought I'd make this quick video. So why would we do this? Well, we could do this if we wanted to import the profile. Uh, for instance, you found one on a Facebook group and you want to test it and see if it works better than yours or someone's trying to help you. Uh, if you got a new installation, maybe you set up a new computer or you had to wipe your computer for some reason and you want to import your old profiles back. There's actually a lot of reasons why we would import profiles. So let's get into it and start now. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and open up uh, Facebook and go into one of the groups that you're a member of. I'm going to use the Creality Ender 3 support and modding community group. I'm going to go to the left side and find the files option, the files tab. We're going to click on the files tab and the second one down here, you can actually see a lot of stuff in here, uh, including Luke's help guide is always in these files tabs. But the second one down is actually Luke's uh, the Luke Hatfield PLA Kira profile, and that's what we're going to use today. So if we go to the right and click download, that's going to go to the bottom left of the screen if you're using Chrome, uh, which I am. And we're going to let the download and we're going to go ahead and show the folder that it's in. Once we show the folder, it actually went into the downloads folder, and that's pretty common for a Windows machine. Next thing we need to do is go ahead and open Kira. And when you got Kira open, you go to settings, printers, I'm sorry, profiles, and then manage profiles and click there. Then we're going to go ahead and click import. So we want to do that. And we want to go to the downloads folder where we find Luke Hatfield's PLA profile. Click on that and go ahead and click open. Once it's ready, it'll say that it successfully imported it in. You click OK. You can click Close on this window. And as you can see, if you go to the right and hit this drop down under the Profile tab, the LHPLA profile is now in there. All you have to do is select that. Once you select it, you can actually go through what Luke has set in his Luke Hatfield uh, PLA profile. I believe this is the brand new one he just updated a couple days ago. Um, I can scroll down and find out real easily if he turned the combing off. I know that was a big thing. It is. Okay. So we know this is the newest one. Um, once you get this far, you have the profile and you're good to go. So let's go to exporting profiles now. So why would we do this? Well, maybe you want to export a profile if we want to send it to another user to help you. Maybe you have them look through your profile to see if they see anything funny. Or if you want to help them, you can have them export it and send it to you. Uh, if you need to do a clean installation of the software, you want to start fresh, you would export your profiles first to save them, then install the software and then go through the import process. Uh, maybe we want to add it to another instance or another machine. Uh, maybe you set up a new computer downstairs of, uh, you know, in a lab and you wanted to add the profiles there. Or maybe you just want to back up the profile. Um, that's always a good idea once you get a really good set profile is to back it up because you never know what's going to happen with these computers. So let's get into exporting profiles. Once again, make sure you have Kira open uh, as we do here. Then you're gonna go up to settings, profiles, manage profiles at the bottom. Make sure you're selected on the profile you want and click that export button. Uh, in the file name, you wanna give it whatever name you wanna call it. I'm gonna call it Jim test profile and let's add PLA to it just because it's a PLA profile. Um, as you can see, it saves as the file for Kira here. And we'll go ahead and hit save and close. And you can do that for any profiles you want. Once again, it's going to go to that download folder and you can move it wherever you would like from there. But it's in there and it's good to go. So there you have it. You've now imported and exported. Uh, it's pretty easy once you get the hang of it. And just remember where you save the files. You guys have a great day and keep printing. Please like the video, 
click subscribe if you want to see more and click on the little bell if you want to be notified when the next great videos come out.